What are the biggest blowouts in all of sports, you might be asking? Well, Brett Ehrlich and I have the answers for you. The Chicago Bears in 1940 beat Washington 73-0. 73-0. And here's their team celebrating, as many teams <laughs> will do, this season against Washington. How about in the World Cup? When Brazil, hit me with some music, Bart. How about in the World Cup? When Brazil demolished, excuse me, got demolished by Germany in Brazil. Oh my God. That's what makes it worse, right? Thank you. That's what makes it worse. Yes. When, when you're, when you have your uh, home team, when you are the home team representing your country and you get killed in your own country. You're supposed to have home field advantage and it's like you proven that it surges your scores typically in your medal count when it's in the Olympics mm. and your scores when you're in the World Cup. And that's why Vladimir Putin decides to dope up all of his athletes mm -hmm. because he doesn't want to have a Brazil happening. How about the NBA? The record was held by the Miami Heat and still is when they defeated, excuse me, the Cavs beat the Heat by 68 points. Good God. 148 to 80. We have the box scores. This is the Heat's box score, which is very Glenn sad. Rice. Only two players were in double figures. Yeah, Glenn Rice was on that team. And then the Cleveland, Larry Nance Sr., by the way, of course. Sir. Larry Nance Sr. was on that team. Uh, Mark Price was on that team, 8 of 10 from the field. Henry James was shooting 50%. Steve Kerr all the way at the bottom with a gnarly five points. When Kerr's dropping five at that stage. That's when you know. Just let him in. How about Tiger Woods? In that game? At the <laughs> oh, separate sport. Got it. I'm at with the you. US Open. Tiger Woods won by 15 strokes at Pebble Beach, and then it just started. It started something that. that we'll never see again, unfortunately. It's true. I remember the British Open one. I remember when he won the US Open playing on a broken leg. Oh, I didn't or, know. Or, uh, no, sorry, torn ACL and beat Rocco Mediate in a playoff the next day. Oh my God, to hear. That's what I'll, oh, I took Man. off uh, summer school for that. I was like, <laughs> I'm going to school. I'm watching golf. What was, Which is something there's the no name, there's the Ben is his first name. I forget his last name. The announcer on golf in that era. Uh, ben. It was the best person to say someone's name and it was him going, Rocco Mediate. Rocco Mediate. It's just the best. Sound. Rocco Mediate. Rocco Mediate. Yeah, Rocco. Drops it in from. Uh, there's one more that I wanted to point out with that <clears throat> Bears one. This is uh, graphic 49. Washington had another big problem in the fourth quarter. They were running out of footballs. At the time, no stadium had nets behind the goalpost, so the extra point and field goal attempt sailed into the stands. The Washington fans wouldn't give them up. I mean, why not? You're watching your team get absolutely obliterated. At your home stadium. Yeah, I'm going to keep a little mini football. And there are little footballs. Laces out. <laughs> um, what do you know about Ray Finkel? <laughs> uh, did Can you not, do it? Which part? After that. Uh, no. Oh, okay, me neither. Anyways, I would, like to, I would just like to say that was yes. a really fun uh, experience with you to go through those. Thank you. What do you got? Did you ever get mercy ruled when you were a kid? No. Never got mercy rule. No, not in Little League. We had pretty good teams. They still have it in in college a lot. Do they? they it doesn't yeah, happen a lot, but a lot of states have the rule, and I think it's like 10 runs after five innings and 20 runs after that.